Hello everybody, this is Michael from MAE Lighting International and welcome back to our series of video clips, tips and tricks. And today we want to start a series of video clips about the store function. Small button, big function. Store. Store in general means we want to store something. Oh, what a surprise. Store is for storing. Yes. Doesn't need to be boring. We can store presets, groups. We can store layouts. We can store queues, queue stacks. We can store a lot. We have to start somewhere. So when we start about talking storing, we start about presets. What do we have to know if we want to store presets? We've done that in the video clip so far, but I want to explain you what goes on. And this is what you need to know for basic things. You have in the dot two a fixture sheet in symbol style and a fixture sheet in sheet style. If you want to store something, doesn't matter if it's presets or cues, this is the view you would like to see. All the functions of your lights, of your fixtures, and you can see very precise in there what you've touched. So if I say fixture through at full, you can see in your symbol view the output and you can see the values that you've touched. The dimmers are open for my lights and I choose a nice ember. Looks like this in 3D. My 3D is connected. It looks like this. Brilliant. Let's say I want to store a dimmer preset. You can see in your fixture sheet symbol style, the result, the output, and in the fixture sheet and sheet style, you see exactly what you've touched, what is active in your programmer, the dimmer and the color. If you store or if you want to store a dimmer preset, do you have to worry about your color information that is active? No, you don't have. When we store presets like dimmers, there is a preset filter in the console. That means the console filters out only the relevant information that are necessary to store a dimmer preset. This is an easy console. Just by pressing store, the console wants to be prepared for all the store functions that might follow, because the command is always store. The console doesn't know if you want to store preset or group now. If you press store, it wants to be prepared. And you can see that in the fixture sheet sheet style. It reduces to the active values that you would store in a queue. This is a very nice function. I like this. If I press escape, I don't want to store. just want to show you the difference. This sheet reduces to the values that you've touched. I've touched color. I've touched dimmer. So this sheet reduces to, to what you would store in a queue. The console doesn't know what we want to store. That's what I said. That's why it wants to be prepared. If I store now, the store command is there, a dimmer preset. It has stored the dimmer preset and no color values. Can I check this? Clear, clear, clear. I run the preset. Who, who can do it? These can do it. Please do it. And there's only a dimmer value inside. That means the console has a preset filter. This is on all the time. That means no matter what values you've touched, what values are read, it filters out the relevant things for dimmer presets or whatever you want, color presets and so on. So there's a preset filter on. The preset filter doesn't work on the all function. I cleared, that's why my color is gone. Let's call the color back. There is my ember. If I switch to all presets, fixture sheet, store as all preset, it has stored, clear, clear, clear. Touching it one time, who can do it? These can do it, please do it. So in the all function or in the all presets, the preset filter is switched off. 
So dimmer end color is stored in here, but in all other ones, preset filters on, only dimmer values, only color values, and so on. Storing presets. To make it very, very easy for you, what else do you have to know? In the first video clip, I select my lights to full. I've stored a dimmer preset. Let's make it, let's give it a other value. If I store this, sheet reduces to what you've touched. If I store this, these values stay active. That means just by having stored it, it doesn't throw it out of the programmer. They keep active. You can store now again if you want. It doesn't make sense, but this is the second thing you have to know. If you store presets, the values stay active and they are still storable. So if we want to have a queue out of this, we could do it now. So two things you've learned in the video. There's a preset filter. The preset filter doesn't work for the all presets and the values stay active. This is enough for the first round. This is the first of our storing doesn't have to be boring series. And this was about storing presets first part. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll be back soon. Take care and happy programming. Bye-bye.